I have been uh, actually taking classes one to one personally for therapeutic purposes for back pain and uh, all the other issues. But that's always been one on one, and uh, that I started about six years back. So I am well versed with the online uh, thing. But yes, classes uh, for a mass like this, um, it has been my first time, and uh, I'm very 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 overwhelmed with the response I've got. Uh, not only in India, but all over the world, people have logged in, and I'm truly, truly, truly humbled for that. Thank you so much, all of you. We're just waiting for some more participants to log in, and then we will actually start. Uh, I would just want to also share with you, which I will be again saying later in the day. not answer and you want me to answer, please put in an email or please put in a chat here. I would prefer an email though. And I would like to reply to each one of you. Uh, so I'm just sharing my email ID also here. It's info at orangeray.in. I will repeat info at orangeray.in. Yes, I hope you have noted this down. Please feel free to ask me. This is basically, this is just done to, you know, help all of you understand so and get familiar with yoga. Oh, yeah. It's not clear. Yes, tell me, is there a uh, question? Audio is not clear, just hold on. Is the audio clear now? Is it clear now? Please answer with a yes or a no. Keeps going on and off. It goes on and off. Can you hear me now? I've just turned my earphones. Is this better? Guys, can you hear me? Please type a yes or no.
So can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Clearly, you can hear me. This please start. I'm sorry, but these are the technological glitches we all have to go through. Yeah, so we are ready to proceed now. Okay. So welcome again, one more time. And uh, welcome. Uh, I just, before I actually start this whole yoga class, I just want to talk about what is yoga and what is the goal of yoga. There is, uh, if you see today the internet, we are flooded with all kinds of information about yoga and there are different aspects to yoga, just the way there are different aspects for everything else. But uh, yoga is an ancient science, some uh, 5,000 years plus old. But it came to uh, structured and documented stuff only from 6,000 uh, AD, okay? Uh, so the sixth century, that is basically. Now, when we're talking about documentation, there are different gurus and different seers have their different viewpoints, okay? So when we talk about yoga, we talk about Patanjali, the father of yoga, we say. Uh, now, he has documented eight steps of yoga, that is the Ashtanga philosophy, eight steps, which begins with the Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi, okay? Uh, I won't go into the details of everything, but I just want to tell you that the Yama Niyama is the one that begins with not Asana. The reason being because he felt the Yamas was the don'ts and the Niyamas were the do's. So he felt that if a person was not able to have a proper discipline in life, what is the point of doing anything else after that? So unless you have a moral responsibility, a social, cultural discipline, how you are going to behave, what is your conduct going to be, how you are going to talk, what are your actions going to be, is it going to hurt fellow human beings or fellow living beings, these were the important things. But then there is another school of thought also, which believes, is it clear now? Is my audio clear? So I just want to tell you now that uh, there is another school of thought which also says that we can begin this discipline from the body itself. So from the body, the moment you start disciplining your body, your mind also starts getting disciplined. Okay? So when your mind gets disciplined, can, can I put this closer to you till I talk and then put it back? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. I think you can hear me now. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So uh, another um, uh, uh, school of thought is that you can begin this discipline from the body <laughs> itself. Okay. And then extend it. Now we are having two kinds of shaktis in us. One is the prana shakti and the other is the manas shakti. So the manas shakti is something which comes from our mind and the prana shakti is our body which comes from our prana, the breath, okay? Now the beauty of the whole thing is both are linked to each other, okay? They are not separate from each other. And when you want to work on the body, you can work from the mind and when you want to work from the uh, on the mind, you can work from the body. So this is how both goes, okay? So now what I would like to explain to you today is we are going to do our yoga, disciplining the body, and we are also going to be completely in tune with our breath, okay? So do not for any moment leave your breath alone. So whenever, whatever poses I show you, there are different kinds of people I'm catering to today. So some are beginners and some are already there into yoga. For the beginners, I'm sure they will take home a lot of things. And for the people who are already, they will always learn something new, adding a new dimension to their practice, okay? So uh, uh, I would like to say that whatever I show you, if you're not able to do that, it's okay. Do what you can, okay? Do not push yourself. Do not do anything which your doctor has not advised you again. Uh, uh, 
for has advised you against because i really don't know what your problem is so i will not be able to say that yes you can do this or you can't do this and if you have any doubts please email me ask me your problems and i will answer your email okay so uh, now the practice today uh, uh, we are going to start and we are going to start with folded hands the anjali mudra so fold your hands together puna namaste keep the hands below your chest close your eyes and breathe center your body start feeling your breath inhale deeply remember to keep your chest up shoulders open wide open up your lumbar spine nicely i am sitting on a block if you have one you can also sit on that so that you open up your spine because your spine is a highway for all the energies to flow feel the centering breathe exhale out all the tension from your shoulders breathe in again exhale breathe exhale breathe in exhale Breathing. Now we are going to start with a sankalpa or a intention. Now this intention today being for yourself, for the people, for your family, for your friends, for colleagues, society, for the world at large. Set an intention, a resolve to this practice. What you're looking for in this practice? I. i'm looking to be healthy happy peaceful and feeling the joy of abundance for myself and for every human and fellow being around me this is what i ask this is my resolve this is my request to the entire universe and now i begin my practice Okay, so I'm going to now take a little away from you so that you can see me completely, and please let me know if the audio is clear because now I was very close to the computer. I'm going a little away. So just checking. Let's stand. Just please answer if the audio is clear. Is the audio clear? Response. It's not clear. No response. No. No response. Is audio clear? Okay, you can. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Good. So now I'm standing. Now as you stand, stand, keep your feet apart, about fifteen to eighteen inches from the outer foot to the outer. Now, when we're standing, we're going to center ourselves and ground ourselves. Most of the time, we are not in reality, and we're floating somewhere else. So this is the first exercise where we actually ground ourselves. Okay? So feel your feet. Feel roots coming out of your feet, going inside, nicely into earth, and feel nicely grounded and planted in the earth. Yes. Feel the planting in the earth. Can you feel it? Very good. This is the time. You open out your shoulders. Okay. Lift up your sternum, your chest, and stand. Very slowly. Inhale and join your palms together. Overhead. Breathe. Nicely breathe. Now 
interlace your fingers and face your palms upwards to the ceiling and push it up there. Inhale, feel the push from the waist, not just the shoulders. Lengthen your whole knee. Lengthen, nicely lengthen. Push, breathe. Inhale, push, exhale. Inhale, push, exhale. Slowly keeping your spine up and erect. Slowly disengage your hands and come back. And we're going to repeat this in a slightly different way. So now I want you to lift your hands up slowly. And this time you twist your hand and then you engage their fingers together. So it's not this way, but it's this way. Okay, now look up. Focus on your palms. Feel yourself reaching to the skies. Lengthen your spine. Up and up and up and up. Now I want you to turn to your right side. And keep turning, keep turning as much as you can with a twist. Arms are extended and you're turning to the right. Keep stretching, stretching, stretching. So we come back to the center. And this time we are going to go on your left. Move up, stretch it up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh. Eyes and come back to the center and slowly relax. Ooh, that was good, right? Shoulders opened up. Okay, so now we are actually going to do some shoulder rolls. This was a nice stretch. So roll your shoulders, be mine. Nice, move it. Mm, feel your shoulders opening. Feel your shoulder muscles, your lats moving behind. Open it up. Mm. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we are going to do the other side. So we are going to round the shoulders forward and then to exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more time. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. All right. Thank you. So this is good. Now you feel your shoulders open up, all relaxed after a good night's sleep. Okay, so you're ready to move forward. Right. So now we're going to do some lateral stretching. So let's fold our hands above our head and we touch your elbow, your opposite elbow, your opposite palm. Okay. So this way. For those who can, try to take your shoulders behind your ears. Okay. Open up your armpits nicely. Mm, nicely. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. You've got to push yourself a little bit more. Yes. Inhale and this way you go side. Inhale. Stay as much as you can. Come on, push it, push it. I know your shoulders crying. Push it, push it, push it. Exhale and come up. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay. So inhale and go down. Exhale and come up. Okay. Yeah. One more time. Now this time we are going to change the breathing pattern because now we are got familiar with this breath. We are going to change it because it's not going to take us so much of effort. So this time we are going to exhale and go down. Okay? So inhale, exhale, inhale and come up. Okay? Inhale, exhale and down and come up. Okay? You got the rhythm? So one more time, please. Inhale, exhale and down. Inhale and come up. 
Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale and come. Good. So, feeling good? All right. We are getting proceed. All right. Yeah. So now we are just going to do some more things. I'm showing you my side view, but then I'll come back again with the front. All right. Okay. So now we finish our shoulder rolls, and now we are going to just stretch our neck a little bit. Okay. So take your right hand, hold your left ear. And very gently open. Okay. Yes. Remember, I told you in the beginning itself, you do not lose sight of your breath in the for a moment. See how you are breathing. Exhale and you slowly pull your neck. Yes. Relax those shoulder muscles. Drag your other hand down. Do not lift this hand. Drag it down. Two opposite forces. Exhale. Slowly come up on a Ah, that was good. Now take your left hand, put it on your right ear, drag your right shoulder down, and pull your neck and exhale. 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 Remember to drag the right hand down. Exhale. 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 Ah, now you feel all the tension in the neck, all the tension in the shoulder is going away. All right? So now we are going to do some hip rolls, okay? So this time I am going to come forward so you can see. So we start with, this time your breath is normal, okay? So we are going to do some simple hip, hip rolls where we are actually going to start moving the pelvis because we are going to do a lot of other hip opening poses, okay? So move your pelvis, okay? Yeah, so we are moving in a clockwise direction. Breathe calmly, gently. I know if you're sweating, it's good for you. Okay, so three rolls, and then we go back. Do it at your pace. These are safe exercises. Nothing is going to happen. Only remember to breathe. If you hold your breath while doing, you may end up in a catch. Yes, very good. Breathe. All right. Okay, fantastic. So now we move on to the knees. So I want, again, I'm showing you my side view. I want you to bend and palm your knees like this. Cup your knees, okay? So I'll also show you the front view. Cup your knees like this. And we're going to do the knee rolls. Yes. And yes. Okay, so tell me how many knees are creaking. Yes. 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 Oh, move it. Move it. Yes, move your knees nicely. So this is clockwise direction. And now we're going to change. So this is a nice massage for your knee joints, okay? Where the liquid is, uh, as you age, the lubricating liquid is diminished and you're actually going to promote its production. Yes, nice, calm, move it, move it. Yes, okay, yeah. So now the knee feels good, all right. So now we are going to actually kneel down I know for certain senior citizens, if somebody is watching this, it might be a challenge to kneel down. Those who can, please do it. Yeah, so this is the side view. I want you to lift your leg and hold. Okay, now the key over here is to hold the toes and not the ankle. Please do not do this. Hold it and feel the stretch in the front of your thigh. Come on. Inhale, don't lose sight of your breath. Get the balance from the other leg by pushing the right foot into the floor. That is your anchor to the floor. Yes, engage your core, pull, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Now, we move on to the right knee. Slowly hold your right foot. Remember that your foot doesn't turn this way. Keep it straight. And yes, balance your, hold the floor with the left foot. Yes. Inhale, chest up. Breathe. Breathe into the pose. Feel the stretch on your thigh. Nice, we come on, breathe. Breathe.
breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your chest up. Keep your shoulders rolled back. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Okay. Fantastic. Are you guys okay? Doing well? All right. Now we are going to go do some hip opening pose. So this is called Malasana or the garland pose. And I'm going to just turn towards you. So those who can squat like this, please squat. Okay. Now I want you to open up your knees a little bit more. This pose is pretty easy for most of the women after birthing and after doing a lot of home chores. But for the men, it is a challenge. Let's learn how to open your hip pose. So we open the hip like this. Take your arms and push your knees apart. Push the knees apart. And with that resistance, you lift your spine up and press your hands in Anjali Mudra. So can you see what I'm doing? I do not want a pose like this where your spine is slacking. Lift up your spine. Push your thighs apart. Hold into Anjali Mudra and sit like this. Keep pushing. So the beauty about yoga is it looks as if you're not doing anything, but believe you me, you're constantly pushing and pulling your muscles inside. Only you know that. Come on, put that effort. Keep pushing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You should feel your lat muscles working. You should feel your triceps working. You should feel your ab muscles working. You should feel your feet uh, working. Everything is working. Come on, push it up. Nicely, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Oh, fantastic. All right, okay. So now we are going to give you a, a breather. Okay, and your phone just is just Is the audio clear? Because I just dropped my earphone. So now, let's all go and take some rest in child pose, okay? So let's do this. All right. For those who find it is difficult with this, you will actually separate your knee a little bit to allow that hollow between your knees where your belly can rest inside and then you can go easily, okay? So this is what you can do for those who can't do and for those who can Please do it this way. Okay, I'm going to show it one more time. So this is the pose of comfort, a pose of surrender. And that's why it's called a child's pose. There is innocence in this pose. There is a pain in this pose that I am nothing. We are completely surrendering to the divine force within this way. And then we actually with your energy from Mother Earth because your forehead touches the earth and you are there in her lap. Lap is Mother Earth. Yes. Silver like this. Breathe. 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 Okay. Now from here, we are going to move into the heart pose. So remember, we are here to open up our hearts to understand, to feel it what nature is conveying to us. So what are we going to do? We extend our hands nicely and for those who find this difficult, we may open up the knees a little bit, push the bum out, open your heart, try to bring your chest as close to the floor as possible. Bring your chest as close to the floor as possible. I know it's difficult. For some people who have stiff shoulders, this would be quite easy. For people who can have low back issues, this may feel nice. Because the low back is really opening up. Yeah? Yes. People who have knee pain might find it difficult. But try this. It's beautiful. Just try this. Mm. Feel. Come on, breathe. Chin on the floor. Breathe. Yeah, your chin is on the floor. 
trying to keep your heart is supposed to be on the floor. Yes. Yes. The chest is on the floor. For those who can manage and those who can't, do as much as possible. But stay. Yoga is all about stability. Stay in the pose. This is not just a jumping exercise. Stay. Get familiar. Get familiar with the pose. And then your body will just adapt to it. Beautiful. Stay there, guys. Stay there. Stay. Open. Open your armpits. Open. Very good. Super. Keep breathing. Never lose sight of your breath. How do you feel? Keep analyzing. Come on. Yes. Very good. Slow inhalation. Just move up. And Very good. Now, we are going to do another exercise, which is actually going to prepare our core and abdominal muscles. Okay? So I want you to lie down on the side of your mat. Yes, you can lie down like this with your hand extended. And I want you to fold both your knees like this, okay? Just fold both your knees and keep it folded like this. All right, are you all with me? All right. Now what I'm going to do is just going to keep the feet on the feet without moving my feet. I'm going to open and close my knees. This is called the oyster pose and just watch. Now do this without touching the knee back. Keep it just one inch above the lower knee and open it up again. So every time you open, you inhale and exhale. Do it very smoothly. No jerks. Exhale. Inhale. Try to open as much as you can. Then you notice the more you open, the more your back wants to go behind. Try avoiding that. Maintain the stability of the pose. And open and close. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We will do another three more times. Inhale. Open. Hold. Hold there now. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Is it easy? Is it tough? Are the thighs burning? You feel your core engaged. What's happening to your abs? Come on. Yes. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The last one this side. Inhale. Hold. 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 Exhale. Very good. Now we're going to change the sides. All right. So this time, we move to the other side. Stretch your hands. Lie down on the hands. Fold your knees a little bit and start. Inhale, open, exhale. Do you feel that this side is easier? We all have one side which is strong and one side which is not so strong. It could be anything depending on what dominant side you are. So let's feel, come on. Inhale, now open, 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 stay, 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 hold, hold, hold. Hold. I know your glutes are burning. I know your thighs are burning. Come on. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. 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 Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Now we are going to go in the most famous Vajrasana, which everyone knows, but not many can sit. All right. We go, seize it like this. 
All right. Keep your big toe, touching your big toe behind. For those who can't sit like this. Yes, split. Split your knees like this and move your toes away and sit like this, okay? This pose is beautiful, excellent for knees, people who have knee issues, but provided you can do this. If you can't do this, this is the tip of the day. So if you have a yoga block like this, you keep this behind you, sit like this, and you can sit on your leg easily, okay, for people. If you do not have a yoga block, what will you do? You will actually take a Turkish towel, roll it, and the height, the, the size of this would be, I will tell you, so this is about six to seven inches in length, okay? It's about four inches breadth, and the height is about three inches. So if you can make something like this with a Turkish towel, please do that. Use that to put below your bum and sit, then your knees will not cramp. But those who can do this, the way I'm doing it right now, go ahead and do it. Okay, it's a great relaxation for the knees. And if you're still better and still flexible, let's just do this. Okay, yes. Just do this. Yes, very good. Stay here, stay here. And lift your chest up. And down. And up. And down. And up, and down, and inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all right. And those who can manage this, please do this. Those who can't, just sit up and sit back in your jasmine, yes. Those who can do this, please do the great relaxation pose which opens up your entire uh, abdominal area stretches it massages all the internal organs of your digestive system and it really feels great for the low back strengthens your low back and really opens up all the parts of the body never thought existed <clears throat> lie down calmly breathe those who can't lie this way I want you to slowly open up your hands and slowly go and lie down. We are now into Shavasana. Please lie down. Focus on your breath. Connect with your breath again. Watch how your stomach goes up. Down. Your abdomen goes up and falls down. Feel the satisfaction and happiness that you have connected with every part of your body to you and sent down on there. By minding your breath. Keep every part relaxed, beginning to come to court. Go up to the knees. Good boy. Feel your belly move up and down as you breathe. Feel the gentleness of the breath. It's a small bird on your sleeve. Feel the breath relax. To your chest. 
So you can sit in Sukhasa in a comfort pose, easy pose, join your hands together, think of your favorite deity, your God, your Ishta Deva, and pass on the gratitude, believing whatever you saw you took at the beginning of the practice is going to pass. Rub your hands together to take the energy back, heat back, and then just cup your eyes and your face. Do not press your eyes. Just cup it and open your eyes. Suprabhat, good morning again. So, how was the practice, guys? I need some interaction now. It was being a monologue. 
So yes, please tell me. If we can allow them. Yeah, if somebody wants to say something, please raise your hand. There is an icon there which shows raise your hand. Yeah, so a street children wants to say something. I'm allowing him to uh, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The question, uh, what I'm asking is, in the Savasan posture, you have uh, stayed for so long time. Can I know what would be the reason? So basically, Shav Asana is the most difficult of all the asanas. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Because uh, they normally say that the easy, people think it's the easiest, but it's most difficult because we humans are so used to doing something that we just don't know how to be. I was not able to sustain till the time you sustain. That's what I'm exactly. asking. I mean, I could have gone on and on, but lack of time, I could not do more than this. But Shavasana is very important because when you work out your things, you have to relax. We forget that important part. So we only think that we have to make our bodies work, but we forget about the rest and relaxation part. And Shavasana is basically to relax, conscientiously relax each part of your body and make, them, make that part of the body feel very loved and appreciated. So that's the most important part. And in the last question, uh, uh, what do you suggest about uh, Surya Namaskaras doing daily? So Surya Namaskar is a very good exercise, but let me tell you that it came much later into the Hatha Yoga practice. It was not one of the old practices. Uh, it is very good to uh, uh, for cardio, but then again, for some people, Surya Namaskar doesn't work very well. So personally, I don't advocate Surya Namaskar to each and every person. It all depends on what kind of prakriti you are from, okay? Because if you're already a very hyper person and you do Surya Namaskar daily, you tend to get very aggressive, very restless. So as I always tell my patients, yoga, we started the yoga, when the yogi started yoga, it was 84 lakh asanas. And then we reduced it to 84. And now what we pro predominantly practice is 32 only. So it is just like a, a chemist shop, you know, you take the uh, drug which you use, which is useful for you, the medicine which is useful for you. Similarly, in yoga also, you pick out asanas which are useful for you. Every asana is not going to help everyone. Sometimes it might just work in the uh, opposite direction. So that is why it's very important that you train with uh, somebody who knows their stuff. And uh, so, yeah, so answering your question, Surya Namaskar is good, but I won't say much for everyone. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Very useful for uh, talking with you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sutra. Yes, Ratnesh. Hi. Ratnesh? Hello. Hi, morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Ratnesh. Yes. How are you? Very good. My Very first good. time. Thank you so much. Ratnesh, I am not able to hear you. One second. One second. Yeah. I said this was my first hand experience of yoga. It was brilliant. I thought it would be difficult, but this was, you know, uh, doable, definitely doable. Yes, thank you so much. So we try to make it, you know, it's like customize it according to our crowd. That's why I said in the beginning that we'll start very slowly and we'll make you take you along and then your body will open up and, you know, you'll be able to do better. So thank you, Ratnesh. Great, thank you. Yeah. Uma? Yes, Uma, hi. Uma, I can't hear you. I think, uh, have you unmuted yourself? Just check, please. Hi, Fazana. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for um, uh, making me to join this session. Uh, My it pleasure. Was very nice. It was very nice. Um, uh, I feel the uh, spine and um, uh, knee caps are opened up and uh, I'm able to uh, stretch properly now. Though okay. I was doing yoga previously, now I definitely feel the difference the, uh, since there was a gap in between. Yeah. Uh, now I really feel the difference. Thank you so much. And, Thank you. Uh, I expect more from you. Uh, Thank you. Yes, tomorrow we will be meeting at the same time. And uh, I, I, I welcome your emails to me because then I will know what my audience wants and I'll customize it accordingly. So please feel free to write to me what you want and we'll make a 
we'll make a nice module for all of you here. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Suresh. Hi, Suresh. Suresh, unmute yourself, Suresh. Happy morning. Happy morning, Suresh. How are you? Oh, oh this is Mrs. Suresh. Yes. Okay. Hey, thank you so much, Pazana. Had a lovely experience. And thank uh, you. A uh, lot of different job. Uh, what you have showed, you know, to open up the things it has come uh, very feeling very flexible here. Thanks a lot for this beautiful session. And I explained it so beautifully. It took us so relaxed way. It was amazing, dear. Thank you. Very. Thank you very time. much. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Bye. Ashok ji, namaste. Hello, Farzana. Hello, Ashok ji. How are you? First class. Better than I was before the yoga. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Only one thing. Tomorrow, how can we have it at the same time? We and I meeting. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we'll yes. do something about it. Yeah. yeah. Because you announced just now tomorrow same time. So yeah, fun. yeah. But uh, I uh, would want to request the viewers: Can we move tomorrow? Maybe say five thirty in the evening. Is it okay for everyone? Five thirty in the morning. Yes. Yes. Is it okay? I just need a hands up, or uh, uh, or tomorrow same time you want. What does the general people want? Will you please write to me? Same time, a lot of people will not be able to join. Morning is better, okay. But uh, make it earlier in the morning. Ma earlier, okay. A little bit earlier is okay. People are okay to come. Six thirty in the morning. Is six thirty okay in the morning? All you new yogis or old ones? Yeah, six thirty is fine. Six thirty. Yes. Okay, great. Uh -huh. So six thirty it is tomorrow. So we will do six thirty tomorrow. Yeah, Avnish. 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 Hi, Avnish. Uh, Avnish. Unmute yourself, Avnish. Yes. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. And it was really good, Farzana. Very good Thanks. class. Thank you. Thank you. Were you able to do everything? Yeah, I was able to do everything. Fantastic. Fantastic. Superb. Thank you. Thank you, Avnish. Jude? Kishore ji, you want to say something? Farzana, can I ask a question? Yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, should we stop when our lower spine uh, hurts a little? Yes, so you should stop there when your spine is hurting and you just adjust yourself a little bit and most likely that you have not opened up your lower spine. So stretch it out, lift your chest up and your lower spine will automatically open. Okay, and uh, if anything else is there, please do write to me and I will guide you how to make it um, uh, uh, opened. Thank you. Yeah. Varzana, Kishore yeah. here. Yeah, Kishore. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi, yeah, see, I could do certain asanas, but I could feel some more uh, inputs on that muscles are tight. So, you know, to loosen up the muscles, we need some more. Uh, Absolutely, you have to. So, these were just the beginning. So, what I did earlier was just a warm up, okay? Yeah, and yeah. very simple opening asanas. I've not gone into little medium asanas also yet. Forget about the advanced, because I know that I'm catering to a very varied audience from all parts of the world. So, I don't know. But uh, yes, please start with this at least. And yeah. sometimes what happens that those who are even able to do very fancy stuff in yoga, uh, neglect the smaller joints and those joints are tight. So the idea to open this was to, you know, actually look at those joints because when you open these smaller joints, your even advanced practices get better with time. Thank you, Vazana, so much. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Yeah, Sri Vidya. Uh, hey, it was really good. I could do most of it. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I could feel relaxed. The thing is, every minute you say breathe in, breathe out, no, so I could concentrate on that so that my muscles does not get stressed. It was like really awesome. I loved and it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Satya. Satya, I can't hear you. Unmute, please. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Was a great session today. Thank you. Uh, um, I was able to. I'm doing uh, this after a break, and yeah. uh, found that my body was quite flexible, except for that uh, bending posture at the back. Yeah. Uh, but I think it, I'll be able to. Pick up. It was very Thank nice you. and very relaxing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jude. Jude, can, you? can yeah. you hear me? I can hear you, Jude. That was a fantastic session. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah, seeing me and my wife also joined me. That my eight-year-old came running and she also joined. We want to be sure whether it is okay for small kids like her to also join. Yes, her. yes. I'm not doing anything which can, you know, uh, be detrimental to anybody else. Even kids are fine. <laughs> It will do wonderfully with this. So please okay. go ahead. One yes. last one was before that Savasana, which is the most uh, liked one by me. Uh, yes. The one before that, I was not even able to attempt it. Yes, yes, I knew. That's why I said. But then I have to give you all a little bit of challenge, right? Can't make it such an easy cakewalk for you. So oh. I had to give that little challenge so that you also know that where you are actually. And then you start bettering yourself. Yes. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you very much. Pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Sairam. Unmute myself. Okay. Hi, uh, Fazana. It was Hi, a pleasure. Uh, learning from an expert is always a pleasure and uh, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, one request, uh, because while doing asanas, uh, we can't be able to see the laptops or the mobile. Maybe if there is any provision where we can see the recordings, because whenever you tell, we keep, uh, for example, if I sleep uh, and you make next thing, you change to another asana, I may not see that immediately. Uh, because yes. So uh, I think on Facebook, you will see it, right? This is there on Facebook, yeah, right? Facebook. This, this is there on Facebook. So you can, because mm -hmm. I did also a Facebook live because for users who were not Zoom equi equipped, so you will get this recording on Facebook, I think. Right? That would be really great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Wonderful. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I'm just responding to the comments down. So somebody is asking me, One can second. we, um, um, yeah, feel refreshing. These are all comments. Okay. Yeah. The audio was soft, but the stretches were very good. Okay. Yeah, I know, but can't help it with yoga. This is the problem. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, Nisha has asked me for a couple more asanas. We will do it tomorrow, Nisha. So please join again. Yes. Uh, okay. These are the times. All right. So tomorrow, 6.30, we are meeting. All of us. All right. Okay. Yes. So somebody has asked me whether we can, uh, Mr. Sendil Surya is asking me if uh, we can do gym and yoga uh, parallelly. Yes, that's the ideal thing to do because you really need to load your muscles also. That way you strengthen your bones. For those people who can't do advanced yoga poses, because if you can do advanced yoga poses, you are going to be using your body weight, which is fine. But if you're not able to do that, I definitely urge you to do plan your uh, exercise regimen in such a way that three days a, a week is yoga and three days a week, a week is weight training. So please definitely do that and incorporate cardio. So uh, fitness is all about strength, flexibility, and stamina. Do not leave any one out. Do all the three, and you're going to be in great shape. Yes, sir. I will just for tomorrow, if we can make it 630. I, I'm just basically trying, you know. So, Mr. Raghuraman, I, I uh, 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 value your suggestion. Just for tomorrow, let's try a 630 and see if people feel they can come. Good. If they can't, then we'll go back to 730. Let's just 
it's a trial let's just do that please tell all your loved ones and family all who are coming that for tomorrow it is going to be 6:30 if we see that the audience is uh, uh, not liking 6:30 and they want to sleep a little more we will go back to 7:30 from uh, friday onwards yes so thanks for adjusting and thanks for cooperating and uh, wish you all the best have a great day and don't forget don't lose touch with your breath throughout the day keep in mind thank you